Hey Nomads, super stoked to be meeting you all in September. My name's Ed, I'm gonna be helping out on this sweet yellow bus with the Nomads team, giving the workshop, the photography workshop in the mega awesome Lofoten Islands. Really, really excited to go. Um, I just thought I'd show you a little bit about the things that I take when I go hiking and take photographs. Um, some things you may have, some things you might not have, but either way, if you don't have them, maybe you can borrow them. And if you can't borrow them, you can always borrow them from here or we make a creative solution. There's never any pressure. So please don't feel as though if you don't have things, it's gonna be a deal breaker. First of all, telephone. Might sound really silly, but actually a telephone is a super powerful device that helps you do all the research you need in order to prepare for the shots you're gonna take. Most of your work into coming into and making a great shot is about researching properly. So I've got some great apps that talk about the weather, about the sun position in the time of day, and fingers crossed, we're gonna see the Aurora Borealis. And I've got a sweet app to show you with that, that shows you the activity and the strength and the time of day it's gonna hit. So hopefully we get to use that a fair bit. Um, just going on to shooting, Camera, obviously super important, uh, preferably with full manual settings. That means you can change your aperture, your shutter speed, your ISO, your focus. Um, obviously we wanna control the creative process as much as we can. That way we know when we make a mega dope shot, that was all me or, or you in this case. Um, I also bring several lenses. I've gotta be honest, my 2470 is the one I use most, but I do have a telephoto and a couple of wide angles. I'll put them in the list below hand so you know what I use, but no worries, whatever you have, we're gonna make something really cool. One creative thing that might help you uh, make a different decision with your lenses are ND filters. These are neutral density filters that basically make your lens a lot darker. So for all those photographs where you see very silky water or very smooth clouds, that's because you have an ND filter on and it basically makes your lens darker, which can also be very cool and a lot of fun. Um, also another piece of advice that might sound silly, but we're gonna shoot in very cold climates and batteries don't like cold climates. So if you've got a few, I've got four. If you've got a few, please bring them. Please make sure they're fully charged before you arrive. We do have a little bit of juice on the bus, but it's not always there and there's gonna be darkness, so the solar panel doesn't always work. So please make sure that you always have some juice because there's nothing worse than having a five hour hike, absolutely busting your gut to get there and then finding out, ooh, your camera's dead. Um, obviously to go with them, charger, uh, sort of similar vein of thought, spare SD cards, I've got quite a few. Um, Really important to make sure that during a week's worth of photography, we're gonna be shooting, fingers crossed, a few thousand of it, a few thousand images, if not more. So you wanna make sure that you can take more and more and more, and you don't have to delete everything. Always really useful to be able to look back at all the mistakes you made to learn about what you did. So you never wanna to have to delete anything. Uh, talking about hiking up the mountain, we're gonna be putting our gear through some pretty heavy stuff. So. Super important, we have some tools to clean them. This is a microfiber cloth, really great for your lens. This is a blower, also great for getting rid of dust. Also really useful to bring are silicon gel pads. These are not something you have to buy normally. You get them with your sweet, sweet new pair of sneakers. If you keep them in your bag, they always suck up a lot of moisture. So for those days when you're out shooting and you throw all your gear into your bag quickly because it starts raining, they can be a lifesaver. They suck up a lot of the moisture and that means then that you can avoid problems in the future. So always have two or three of them in your bag. Absolutely not essential, but a serious amount of fun um, is a drone. I've got here a, a DJI Mavic Pro 1. Um, the Photon, as you probably know, has got these breathtaking sceneries and having a different perspective from high up in the air gives the viewer of your photographs a very different feeling. So something maybe to think about if you have one, very cool to bring. If not, absolutely no worries. Couple of things when you're shooting that can help. This is a Hoodman, so basically you use it to look at the back of your screen, but when it's very light, it means then you can test uh, if it's the exposure that you really want. I use it a lot, I have to be honest. A uh, Couple of things for when you're shooting at nighttime, because we need to have very still images. 
tripod is really important. This is a travel one. I've also got a bigger one, but the travel one's mega dope for when you hike because it's very light. Uh, the other thing is a remote. Uh, you don't want any vibrations from the camera from you touching it. So if we can bring a remote. Last couple of things now, laptop. Um, I've spoken a little bit about sort of the power on the bus. Unfortunately, there's not enough power for us to be able to hammer out all those images every evening and have a look at what we're taking. Um, but we will, if you bring your laptop uh, one evening, I'll go through with you what my workflow is from importing and archiving to how do I edit them and then creating presets and applying that to a batch so that you can increase the speed of your workflow. Um, like I said, with the batteries for your camera, please make sure you bring it fully charged. That way there's no necessity to do it here. Last two things. Um, I always have a waterproof bag in my backpack. Uh, that means that if it's ever really hammering it down hard and I'm a bit anxious about my gear getting wet, I've got this for peace of mind. And like I just mentioned, a backpack. Preferably something with shoulder straps. It's very comfortable and spacious that you can haul up the mountain with all the gear that you want so you never have to make a choice between this lens or that lens um, or do I take water up or not. Super important that you become fully prepared for every eventuality and that's not just photographically but also in terms of safety when you go hiking. Yeah, that's it. I'll put a list of the items that I have below. But if you have any questions, please feel free, get in contact with me over Instagram, ask any questions you want before you get here, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Apart from that, have a good time wherever you are. I'm here in Senya with the Nomad, so I'm gonna continue having a rad time for the next few days, shooting uh, our little adventures, and I'll see you in September. Goodbye. <laughs>